Okay, you want to sync your Microsoft form responses with an Excel workbook. So I'm assuming you already have your form set up and you already have a workbook. This workbook is saved in OneDrive, but you could also save the workbook in SharePoint. Now your first step in the workbook is to create the column headings that are gonna capture the responses for all the questions in your form. Then once you've done that, click into one of the column headings. Go to the Insert tab on your ribbon and click on Table. Tell Excel that you already have headers by ticking this little option here. Click OK and then give the table a name. So I'm going to call this Responses and press Enter to store the name. So I'll make sure this is saved. And once you've got your Excel spreadsheet saved on your OneDrive or in SharePoint, you need to log in to your Microsoft 365 account. Click on this App Launcher button, top left, and then select Power Automate. Click on Create here. Click on Automated Cloud Flow here, and then give your flow a name. Then you've got to choose your flow's trigger. And for us, that's when a new response is submitted via Microsoft Forms. And then I click on Create. I need to select a form for the trigger. That's this form here, Excel 365 Training Event. And then I click on New Step. Choose an operation, search for Form. Select Microsoft Forms and then select Get Response Details. Form ID, you need to select the form's name again. And Response ID, you just need to select Response ID down here. Then click on New Step. Then select Excel Online Business. And in this list, select Add a Row into a Table. In Location, you need to select where you've saved your workbook, so I've saved it in OneDrive for Business, but you might have saved it in SharePoint, for example. Document Library, again, that's OneDrive or whatever library is stored in. File, I need to navigate to where I've saved this Excel file on my OneDrive. Select the workbook that you want to sync with your form. And then select the table name within that workbook, Responses. Now you have to map these columns within the Responses table with your form questions. If I click into the first column, down here, you'll see all the questions on the form. So I want to map the name column with the question, what is your name? Department with the question, what is your department? Date with the question, which date would you like to attend? Diet with the question, do you have any dietary requirements? Submission with the submission time. Then I just click on save and I've created my flow. So let's see if this works. I'll fill in the form. And I'll press submit. Might need to reopen it to get the first submission. And here we are, we've got the latest response from our form. Let's try again. Click on Submit. And again, I get the latest response. Okay, now we've got a few responses. We can easily do some analysis on this data. For example, I might want to keep a tally of how many people have booked on each of these dates. So let's add another response via the form. Submit it. Now it'd be nice if this pivot table automatically updated whenever we get a new response. So what I could do is create a little Office script that does that. So if I go to the Automate tab here, 
I'm going to record a script. I'm going to click into this pivot table, right click and then refresh, and then stop recording. I'm going to give the script a name, refresh pivot table. So within my flow, I want this script to automatically run whenever we get a new response from the form. So here's my existing flow. I'm going to add a new step. I'm going to type script in this search box. And down here, I can see an option for run script. Location. OneDrive for business. Document library. OneDrive, File. I need to navigate to the workbook that I want to run the script in. And in the script drop down, I select the script that I created to refresh the pivot table. Now I'm going to click on Save. So we'll add another response via our form. I'll click on Submit. And you can see that Bernard's record has been automatically entered here, but it's also updated the pivot table. The only thing I need to do here is format these dates as British dates. And we're good to go. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.